what is up guys um today we just got some new leaks and when i say today i mean like an hour ago and these are like genuinely insane leaks like i, I don't even know let's just get into them though so starting off with probably the least surprising one following the ahsoka series is the 75385 battle on per peridia 40 to 50 dollars we're not sure either 40 or 50 dollars it will be 382 pieces august of 2024 and it will include Ahsoka in the white outfit, Ezra, Thrawn, Enoch, and Morgan. Now on to the next leak, and this one is like when it starts getting crazy, and I can't properly tell you guys how insane this is. Like, this doesn't feel real, but it, all this stuff is from a 1414 Falcon fan, except for one of the leaks, which I will say later. But, like, this is, this is genuinely insane. I don't know why they're making this set, but... I'm very intrigued by it. It's the 75389 Dark Millennium Falcon. For 170 bucks, it includes Dark Ray, a white outfit Darth Vader. What? Evil C-3PO, evil Chewbacca, and a Gungan in a blue outfit, and potentially one more minifigure. What is this? What what on earth is this? I'm so confused, but I'm so excited. Like you know what's wild too the leaks just get crazier well actually a, two of them are pretty like understandable but this one's so wacky but there's even crazier leaks um this one's just calming you guys down a bit from the one we just came off of because that one's genuinely insane uh is the 75398 buildable c3po 150 bucks and it's an august release and will include a reused c3po so i mean you know not too exciting, but we needed something to kind of relax everyone after that other one, because after this, it just gets kicked up into overdrive. Now, racking the insanity all the way back up to where we came from, just getting off the C-3PO, because that's a little boring, and going back up, we have the 75396 Escape from the Sarlacc for $90, 558 pieces. I would imagine, because of the Sarlacc, there's going to be a lot of big molded pieces, so don't be too worried about that price per piece. And it's an August release. Along with that, the minifigs is, are going to be Han, Chewie, Lando, Boba Fett from the mech, and two more minifigs. Now, it says minifigure, or more figures, actually. So, it's more figures, not minifigs. So, what I might be thinking here is maybe you get a pirate, like one of Jabba's pirates, and maybe you get a Jabba, Jabba the Hutt big fig. Because there was supposed to be a Jabba the Hutt getting released alongside a couple other figures in that Jabba's Hutt. Uh, palace diorama that just got kind of scrapped but the figures and all that made it to a point where we saw leaked pictures of it on the internet so it is likely there could be a job of the hut coming out however it's not confirmed in any way and i imagine with a figure like job of the hut they would probably have it in here and job of the hut so maybe not maybe it is just a couple pirate mini figures but we aren't for sure yet now this next one is kind of wild to me because it's a little bit of a weird pick but it makes sense so I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what it is and i'll explain it a bit and just kind of tell you guys a little more about it um it is the 75393 x-wing and tie fighter for 109 dollars and 1058 pieces it should include a tie pilot x-wing pilot an astromech and two additional figures you should be able to swap the wings for the tie fighter and the x-wing now this set's kind of weird to me because we literally just saw the last kind of TIE Fighter and X-Wing maybe like four or three years ago, and they are still on shelves. They're still being sold. So this one is pretty weird to me, but it also makes sense because this is the 25th anniversary. Also, that's another thing I want to mention is the 25th anniversary of LEGO Star Wars. So I'm not too surprised that they're going this kind of balls to the walls with how crazy some of these picks are, like the Dark Millennium Falcon. <laughs> what? But... This one, I guess when you think about it in that sense, it kind of makes sense because they really want to get a bunch of iconic sets out during that 25th anniversary. Now, another thing is it is 1,058 pieces, so maybe these are bigger and nicer models than what we had previously from those kind of smaller sets that were both in the $50 range, but you can't really tell until we see it, but maybe these are kind of updated models, or I have, I have really no clue what they're going for here, but I'm, I'm intrigued by it. Now, moving on to one that really excites me because I guessed it, but yeah, that's not really a flex because it was kind of obvious considering it is the 25th anniversary of The Phantom Menace. 
it is the 75383 Sith Infiltrator. For $70, it should release in May, and it includes Darth Maul, of course, Padme, Qui-Gon Jinn, and Captain Panaka. So, if you guys watched my other rumor video or my previous one, uh, it said that there is a Darth Maul minifigure coming out, and now we know where it's placed. And what I'm interested to see is what kind of scale we're going to see the Sith Infiltrator in. I know that the previous ones were around this price point, but with inflation, I'm interested to see if it's massively downsized or it stays the same, or maybe it's a bit bigger. Also, I'm kind of intrigued to see how they do some of these minifigs. Are they going to try and make them special, or are they just going to go with the base one that we usually see? Are we going to maybe get a special one? Like, is that Padme going to really be a big seller? Or I'm just really interested in that type of stuff, especially with a set like this. And I'm just generally, I am excited for this set. And when I was talking about the next wild pull for a set, this is the one I was talking about, because this is just crazy. It's the 75388 Jedi Bob's Starfighter for $40, 310 pieces. Jedi Bob will have yellow skin. There should be a second figure included as well. Like, like what? What? That's just so wild to me. I'm, I'm really happy that they're doing this, because it is a fun kind of... I guess, joke in the community or just kind of a cool minifigure that people talk about in the community. So I am pretty excited to see this, but it is just such a wild pull. Like, what are these pulls? I just don't get it, dude. But hey, more power to them. I like that. I'm definitely picking it up because I wonder if they, that's actually something I want to say. I wonder if they end up changing anything on the minifig at all. Obviously, the prints are going to be a little updated and it is going to be a different minifigure because it's 20 years of new manufacturing but i wonder if they like just in terms of it change any prints or add anything to make it look different or if they're just going to keep it as is and basically make it a recopy of the old one that's kind of that's kind of a thought i just had and i'm kind of interested to see that now so getting back into the kind of crazy polls and once you think about it this one's actually not too crazy but i do want to say this one has not been confirmed by 1414 falcon fan yet this one is just kind of one that's out there as is right now, but some reputable leakers who get a lot of stuff right have put it out. So maybe you do want to trust this one, but for me, I don't really fully trust it till like Promo Bricks or 1414 Falcon fan puts it out. But this is, this is, it makes a lot of sense because of what came out last year, but it's the 75394 Death Star playset. It's coming out in the summer for $200. Now, think about last summer, we got the Yavin 4 playset for $200. So rebels imperials i really like this i think this is a cool little thing and i think this might be a new subline of sets it's like a base set and it's just going to include a lot of minifigs and have a lot of play now the one thing that's going to be interesting to me is going to be how they're going to do it are they just going to pull a, a section of the death star and build the section of it and it's just going to be the interior of it or are they going to try and make it the full death star and panel off the exterior and i, I want to see how they do it if they do the full thing, or maybe just a chunk of it, or maybe just the interior. But anyways, let's get on to the minifigs, which are our 11, 11 plus an anniversary figure. Watch the anniversary figure is going to make a lot of you guys happy. And also, in case you're wondering why I just stopped there, it's because I had to burp mid-sentence. So I usually wouldn't cut that part up, but just had to let you guys know. Um, it's going to have Darth Vader, two Stormtroopers, three Imperial crew members, uh, three Death Star Troopers, and two Imperial officers. You know, basic stuff, basic stuff. You love to see it, though. But the big one that I think a lot of people are going to be hyped to see is Cal Kestis comes in the set as an anniversary minifig. Now, a lot of people have been asking for it in a while, for a while, and some people would probably prefer that it came in, like, the Mantis or something like that. But I think this is a really cool place to put Cal Kestis. So, some new information on Death Star, by the way. Um, there was some chats leaked from Blick, uh, Brick Clicker and It's Just Joe. And the chat basically goes, it should be around $110 for the Death Star set. Uh, didn't get a piece count, but it's definitely a Yavin playset counterpart in terms of vibes. For Death Star, I feel like the price at $170 might, and I think someone was replying to that because you don't get the full sentence of that. So I think for right now, the price is kind of up in the air. $110 seems like not enough, but $170 might be the right price point. But as of right now, we don't really know the actual price point. So interesting development, actually. The Cal Kestis is supposed to come in that 75394 in his blue outfit. But 
when put in this post here, it says that it's an $80 set. So right now, I'm kind of not sure what's going on with the, death, with the Death Star. I don't know if it's happening. I don't know if, what's going on. But the Cal Kestis minifig will be coming in an $80 set. So that is still coming. It's the Death Star that's up in the air right now. And we are getting that young Leia, like previously mentioned, in the 75392 which I don't think we know what that is yet. I think it might be the UCS set, but I'm not too sure. And with all that, one thing I wanted to point out for me and the one guy who commented on my thing about the MTT is heartbreaking news. There is a good chance we don't see an MTT. I mean, I, the $170 set is covered. So it'd have to be the $140 set, which I don't think there's a rumor on yet. But right now, it's kind of it's looking a little scary. I really hope we do get that MTT, but it's looking a little weird right now. It's looking a little wacky. So not too sure on that yet. But other than that, guys, uh, <laughs> this leak literally came while I was like, I don't know, just playing video games. I look on my phone. I'm like, are you kidding me right now? Right now? Uh, but yeah, the so leaks came out, and that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to get this out as quick as possible. And... That's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. And I hope you're excited for these new leaks.